Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to another episode of the Motherland Experience. It's your girl Nye here and today I have some lovely guests in store for you. I'm going to be sitting down and chatting with an amazing mother and daughter duo, Missy Lane and Unique. And we're going to be talking about their amazing journey here to the continent of them visiting for the first time, their transformational experiences by being here, them being landowners, among other things as well. So sit back, relax and let me take you for a ride. Guys, I am sitting with these two amazing women. They're not just friends of, of mine and my mother's, but they're family, actually. It is just awesome, it is amazing. So please help me welcome Miss Elaine and Miss Unique to the show. How are you? Hi, thank you. Uh, <laughs> you guys look, you have a glow about you. <laughs> is that thank the Ghana you. glow? What do you think? It's a Ghana glow. <laughs> it's a Ghana, it's a Ghana glow. glow. Uh, it's, it's come back. It has. I'm getting a little bit more melanin. Mm, melanin <laughs> popping. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> melanin popping. Yeah. So please, can you tell us where you guys are from? From the UK, London, more on the suburb from Bromley. Mm, okay, so Bromley, my Bromley fans out there. <laughs> so being from the UK, you also have a Jamaican background, right? Yes, I am. I was born in Jamaica mm -hmm. and grew up as a child in Jamaica until the age of 10 when I relocated to join my parents mm -hmm. in the UK. So as from then up until now, I am UK based for now. For now. For now. Right. <laughs> For now. <laughs> it's so funny. I've been interviewing a lot of people lately mm -hmm. that are from the UK that have a mm -hmm. Jamaican background. Mm -hmm. And I find that really in interesting. Can you shed light on that? Just a quick. <laughs> Without going too much into politics. Mm -hmm. UK can be fine. Um, but knowing where I'm coming from, mm -hmm. the younger ones don't see it. But I was in the UK from what um, the age of 10, including 11 years old. Mm -hmm. That was my, now 1968, I'm showing my age now. <laughs> well, you look fabulous. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. But it wasn't easy, it was rough. Mm. Rough being someone from somewhere else, mm -hmm. trying to fit in, it wasn't welcoming at all. Mm. Not, not even in school, it was not welcoming at all. Really? No, it was not. Did you face racism? <laughs> <laughs> that was a daily basis. The minute you step out that door, right until you return home in the classroom, mm -hmm. everywhere you turn. And the only how they know your name is when you're doing something for them. And mm -hmm. it was only when it's sports, you wow. Elaine. But other than that, I won't even bother going to it. But I know what I went through and it's not what someone else told me. I know what I went through. Mm -hmm. And to keep you at the bottom, not to lift yourself up to in wow. education wise. Because mm -hmm. I know I used to be, there was, I went to a school and um, it was predominantly mainly white. Mm -hmm. And right across the school, about seven, between seven and a thousand kids and children in school mm -hmm. and it was only about like nine were black wow <laughs> you're kidding seriously three blacks in my year mm -hmm. and basically the blacks were at the back wow and even if you know the answers because most of we the education wise we were more further ahead in jamaica than we mm -hmm. were when we came to the uk and even if you put really? your hand up they would skim past you and go to white for the answer wow. and even if you know the art you know you want to they would say okay if you don't understand something not all teachers are like that mm -hmm. they would say stay behind and we will i will explain it to you and you will stay behind and not others are going out and i remember one teacher just looked at me and said what are you doing here and i says but sir you asked me to stay behind mm -hmm. You need to get out of here now, or else you'll be in detention. Wow. What? You're kidding. You're kidding. Get out of here now, or you'll be in detention. And even your marks. Oh. 
Wow. You know, the all these experiences that you're sharing, mm -hmm. it really shows how mm -hmm. the West really wasn't mm -mm. our land to begin mm -mm. with, you know, and I think it's really powerful mm -hmm. you talking about kind of how it was in mm -hmm. the UK. But I guess now you both of you guys are in the motherland. Yeah. <laughs> so listen, so in a more happier note, how has it been? Why Ghana? Why Ghana? <laughs> it's always, I, I used to work in a company with a young lady and she mm -hmm. was from Ghana. Mm -hmm. And most of the time we would bring in little, you know, um, of hors d'oeuvres and use microwave because we're allowed to do that and there was an area provided for people who want to bring in their own lunch and we sat there and she'd look across at me she says, what's that? <laughs> she said, oh, we do that in Ghana, we have that, do you? Mm -hmm. And I would mention to her, she said, oh, we call it something else. And, you know, we mm -hmm. became friends and close oh, friends. Oh, and, mm -hmm. and I know she, she would say to me, I'm going home, you want to come with me? And I said, I would love to, but don't forget I've got a child. At the right. time I wasn't married then. I said, mm -hmm. I've got a child and I've got a mortgage. I can't afford to do that. Mm -hmm. I said, my mortgage come first. My child come first. Mm. If I can, I would. But you know, I lost. I did lose contact with her mm -hmm. over the years because she left. She left and she left. She left the UK, come back to Ghana. But on the old, she went back to the UK, and it was only a few days ago after trying to meet up with her because mm -hmm. um, I didn't have her number. I only had her Facebook. Mm -hmm. Anyway. I left messages from about 2019. I left message for her. I left message for her sister. I left message for her, her friend. And nobody got back in touch with me. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> and until I came to the decade here, mm -hmm. I got a message from her. And I could not believe it. Wow. I could not believe it. But she's back in the UK now. And we've now linked up. And <laughs> it so happened that we're... Um, buy my land it's not far from where she's bought something wow so that isn't that great. funny how the most high works <laughs> he really does and they say that god works in mysterious ways he really does you know god has always been and in my i've got another tie with um ghana in my mm -hmm. bloodline mm -hmm. i don't know which is this is the gospel truth mm -hmm. i don't know if um you know about paul bogle wow he is a freedom fighter mm -hmm. in jamaica he was killed i can't remember nine can't remember the year, mm -hmm. but I'm from St. Thomas. And okay. Paul Bogle on my grandmother and my father's side mm -hmm. are related. Really? Yep. Oh They're my related. gosh. Yep. And I believe he does he has got ties with Ghana, looking at his history. And also on my dad's side, on his mother's side, Benin. Mm. Been in. You're kidding. My great grandmother, which is my dad's grandmother, mm -hmm. as a child used to always talk about Benin. And I'll no lie, I mm -hmm. did not know there was a country called Benin <laughs> until mm -hmm. 2020. Seriously. Wow. So you've always done so you've always mm -hmm. had Ghana and I believe like in your blood. So West Africa, this like has always been in your blood. Yep. I've been looking around. Mm -hmm. I've been you know, on YouTube, I've been looking at other countries, yeah. looking around, looking at what other people are saying about, and I come to Ghana, I'm looking at Ghana, and I'm mm. going away, but I'm coming back to Ghana, I'm going away. Yeah. I, think, um, I think it's best, and everybody say, no, you need to go. You need to go and see for yourself. You need to go. And mm. lo and behold, I look, I've been trying to uh, make contact with a few of the diaspora over here. Mm -hmm. Not many of them bothered to get back to me uh, see and that's not the way it should <laughs> no, be no your mom did <laughs> she did your, your mom did and from that i didn't know nothing about you at all i mm -hmm. didn't know and then i was looking and i'm so danny was doing a um was on a bit of land i think it was east lagon mm -hmm. and i messaged him and mm -hmm. he contacted me oh, mm -hmm. oh, that was the start of it rolling wow and not knowing mm -hmm. until i Almost got here. You, 
your mom and daddy and i'm thinking oh <laughs> my world. god it's a small world it's guys, a small isn't it? world i did not know that i didn't know seriously well, did I, not. I, you know i think it's such a blessing yeah. that you know we were able to connect because mm -hmm. more people when you come here it can be mm -hmm. a little you know bewildering mm -hmm. wanting to make those connections yeah. you know so mm -hmm. i i bless the most high for it i it, really, really i think he has got hands somewhere along the line he has got some hands in it because it's like all the jigsaw puzzle starts to come it's together. It's forming. It really does. And I'm does. thinking, it wow, this isn't real. This isn't <laughs> is this real. really happening? It, is, it, yeah. is this happening you know, right now? So, exactly. So for you guys, and I want you to answer this, Miss <laughs> Yannick, what are, what are three words to describe God for you? Awesome. Mm, awesome. Um... I just like to be with my own people. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How does that, you know, when you first came off the plane? Because you guys, this is your first visit here, mm -hmm. am I correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. So when you guys first got off the plane, what was the feeling that you got? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well, when I got off the plane, I was like, oh, I'm hot. I'm hot. <laughs> she felt hot, guys. <laughs> I was like, mom, mm -hmm. I'm really in the place that I really want to be. Mm. I go thank you, Mum, for you know bringing me here because oh. I feel like home. Wow! <laughs> See, Mommy knows best, right? <laughs> yes, she does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she I tried best. to leave her; she won't have it. <laughs> oh, she's like, no, you're not getting rid of me. Mm -mm. No. I'm coming with you. I said, I'm coming with you, Mum. I'm not staying here by myself. Oh, <laughs> well, how has it been for you guys as mother and daughter taking this journey together? I have a kinship with you guys because I came with my mom. Mm -hmm. So, how has it been? for you as mother and daughter? Not a problem. In the UK, she's got her own home. Mm -hmm. I have my own home. 98% mm -hmm. of the time, she's by me. Mm -hmm. And I say, go home. She's got friends, but she'll go down and she'll come back. Mm -hmm. Or she'll come back and she'll have a meal and she says, oh, I'm staying the night. <laughs> and from one night to three nights, four nights, she go back. She'll come back. Oh, but she's like, I love being with you. <laughs> no, you have your own yeah, friends. Nothing's yeah. like you. She's mommy. got her own friends. Mm -hmm. She goes, Would you mind if I bring so and so? So and so is coming. I says, Okay, all right. Oh, <laughs> I think that's so cute. Is this your only child? Uh huh. Uh, I'm telling you, we're we're here. We are. We're here, unique, and we really are. So it's. Uh, it's a it's a really special thing taking this mm -hmm, journey, mm -hmm, you know, with mm -hmm, your mom. Mm -hmm. So, what is like your favorite? Let's say your favorite Ghanaian dish. What's your favorite one? I have not. Um, I love um, would you, um, the the jello fries. I had the jello fries mm -hmm, the other day. Yeah. However, I only been to about two, three places since I've been here. I've been to I don't know if I'm allowed to mention it, but um, it's a mixture of guy. Mm -hmm. in and Jamaican so Ooh. it was a thing I'm not very good at remembering names of the dishes mm -hmm. it's the same way in pronunciation of certain places I'm mm -hmm. terrible when it comes to that because I'm calling it something oh, different and the driver okay. you know my driver will say no it's not that and he tried to explain and you know he says, you need to learn Ghana in it I says I know I know but she's on to it yeah. Oh, yeah, so, she, so you can like you can she, speak a few words. She's, she, she's well, written it down. So I've, I've written them down. down and then mm. she go on the the um, there's a translation in mm. um, uh, Play Store, and mm. I Help said, "Mom, mom, mom, look at this." It's, Help it's you called to Tway, it. or was it Twy mm -hmm. that they speak? Mm -hmm. And I said, "I'm putting this all down. Uh. I'm writing it all out." <laughs> so, so have you learned any words yet? Like. Do you know mm. how to say thank you? Can I say welcome? Well, it's written down. I have to keep it all up here, but I, I haven't memorized it yet. Oh, uh, well, you're well on your way. I have to say, you're well mm. on your way. Yeah. You know, so how with this trip, hmm, how can I put this? What, let's mm. say, what have been, how has this trip shaped you? You know, mm. as as women, just, just even just by being here, experiencing another country. You can make it. All you need to do is do your research. Mm. Do your research very well. And the other thing is come, come and see for yourself. Because to me, how I was walking around, it's no different to me than in Jamaica. It's the only thing is that Jamaica is more developed right, in a certain right. area where Ghana is now youngly developing. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure when it 
it's all finished it will look stunning and beautiful but yeah. there are areas that we've been in and i'm thinking wow mm -hmm. this is nice this is really nice but you know as i say it's no different to me than mm -hmm. in jamaica the only thing as i say the people here are very warm very helpful very mm -hmm. friendly and i don't feel threatening any way oh, yeah. shape or form that is a peaceful country it is mm -hmm. no way shape or form walking down the road whether if it's in a crowd or just one person no or even late at night because we go for a walk and i don't feel no way at yeah, all isn't that nice it, it yeah. is so it nice is. no one bothers you at all mm -hmm. no one asks nothing the only thing you you may not see the person <laughs> and but uh, all of a sudden you hear somebody say Good evening, madam. And I'm thinking, where, where is that coming from? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, I get a lot of that. Yeah, yeah. As, you know, that's all, no problem whatsoever. Even when you're in the shop, they're so helpful, helpful in the way. If you're looking for something, and you just ask a question, they'll take you straight to it. Yeah, they're very, very helpful. Very, very friendly. Very friendly. Very, very warm. Mm -hmm. You know, and yeah. it really does make you feel like that you're mm -hmm. that you're mm -hmm. coming back home. Mm -hmm. It really mm -hmm. does, and you really have that connection. Yeah, you know that we don't get in the west. Yeah, exactly. And it's, it's exactly, beautiful. and even on the way out, mm -hmm. it's welcome home, my sister. Welcome home. Mm. and that made me feel wow <laughs> you oh. know welcome home welcome. It's, it's like welcome home yeah. so have you guys had like any type of culture shock since you've been here what about you um, unique culture shocks mm. Mm. no i don't know no no so it's like it's just really just been you can't shock. you basically if you go to the if you're from ghana and you go mm. to the west you have to learn to blend in the West yes. and accept it. It's the same with Ghana. Mm -hmm. You might see things, but I haven't. Mm -hmm. You know, well, the only thing that I can relate to and state is when you're on the street, the street vendors. Mm -hmm. But if you say no, they'll walk on by. But you know, that that's about it. But that is that is Ghana. Yeah. That is Ghana. You just have to learn to accept what you see. You know, I don't yeah. really want to come and change people to suit yourself. Uh -uh. Could you say that again, please? <laughs> don't change people to suit yourself because yeah. you are in a country. It's their country, mm -hmm. it's their culture. Just go with the flow. Yeah. If you don't like it, walk away. Yeah. Simple as that. I think that's really important that mm -hmm. you're mentioning that because mm -hmm. I think sometimes mm -hmm. coming from the diaspora, mm -hmm. we expect for other people to kind of flow mm -hmm. sometimes the way we do. Mm -hmm. And it's like, that's not, mm -hmm. you know, that's not fair. I don't feel mm -hmm. and it's not even, you know, possible. You're in another mm -hmm. country. Mm -hmm. So you need to get and immerse yourself you know, into the way, mm -hmm. you know, it's done mm -hmm. in the country that you're staying mm -hmm. in, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, and I know, you know, certain things can be challenging, mm -hmm. but it's, it's something that even I feel that like we're learning from each other, yeah. you know, it's like we need to mm -hmm. learn certain things. Mm -hmm. And so what you're saying is very, very true. Yeah. The, o the only challenge, challenges that we got was, um, basically it's not just Ghana. It's, I think it's going around the world now yeah. and it's basically, trying to if you trying to pay for something and you want to pay it in cash and it's over a certain limit mm. you're, you're not going to get that certain limit in the bank mm, yes and it's the same in the west mm -hmm. so it's not just gone it's the same in the west right. so you know you're, you're limited per day mm -hmm. and that's why we couldn't use our um visa card from UK, so we just really? open up her no, we mm -hmm. just open up a Monzo account and just transfer our money onto it. But even that, they they will limit you as to how much you take out per day. Mm, yeah, it can be challenging <laughs> when you like traveling yeah. trying to like get yeah. your money. Be together. Yeah, because if, if you I'm... go somewhere and you have to pay mm -hmm. cash, and if you get oh, I can't, so you right. have to take some out today, go back in and take some out tomorrow. Mm -hmm. and, you know, if you have a taxi and you're taking the taxi to wherever, it's going to cost you to get to that place. I don't get off. But you know what, Cha? You Just say, to, yeah, you do go what with you the flow. Do. Exactly. Just I like go that. With go flow. with the flow. Just you know, you have flow. to go with the flow with things. Mm -hmm. and, and you'll get to the other side. Exactly. You really, exactly. You'll get to the other it's side. It's not something that's going to last forever. Mm -hmm. It's something that's there. And if you want to, your life to be better, you make the, your life better. 
working. Exactly. You know, exactly. it's not up to somebody else to do it. They they're in their own little bubble mm -hmm. and they're enjoying their little bubble. Mm -hmm. So if you want to step out to your bubble, you step out of your bubble and make your life better. See? Yeah. So I would say that you're giving actually really good advice to the mm -hmm. viewers who are maybe looking yeah. to home. Yeah. You know, so what would you say, what is one thing that you want your mm -hmm. brothers and sisters to know in the UK? I know mm -hmm. when you came, this is a, <laughs> listen, this is, have, this is the birthday girl, so happy belated <laughs> birthday. Thank you. You come here during your birthday month mm -hmm. and everything. So mm -hmm. what would you want your brothers and sisters to know in the UK that haven't been here, that are looking to come, mm -hmm. or that maybe just don't, they've mm -hmm. had preconceived notions about mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and breaking that what would you want them to know um come and see for yourself mm -hmm. observe mm -hmm. keep most of your thoughts what you think it should be to yourself yeah right and just watch see you know things can be it depends on where you are you can't stay in one area because you may be inaccurate things are different you go down another um down the road mm -hmm. and with this estate it's nice you think to yourself oh my god this is nice mm -hmm. you know but just keep have an open mind have an exactly. open mind have an open mind. have an open mind to everything mm -hmm. and you cannot see things through someone else's eye you need to come and see for yourself mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah would you agree with her yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. because i did that with something else that um we visited mm -hmm. and the way it was put on the film it was not from yourself from mm -hmm. uh, it was like it wasn't far from here mm. it was <laughs> it was it was, <laughs> it, was. It, was <laughs> it was a nice day it was mm -hmm. a nice trip out mm -hmm. but had i known it was that far i would have left earlier got you yeah go where we're going <laughs> and to get back but it was a challenge getting there mm -hmm. in the queue <laughs> Tro Road, getting there, enjoying herself and coming back and it was like, oh, oh, the traffic, the traffic, the traffic, traffic the trying to traffic. get, it wasn't yeah. even in Ghana, we were nowhere, I mean, in Accra, it was nowhere near Accra and I'm thinking, and I'm saying to the driver, are we near Accra? And he says, no, we're no. not, I went, oh, oh my yeah. God. <laughs> traffic here can be bad, so anybody that's coming here, traffic here can be, be bad. You bad have to bad. kind of plan mm -hmm. and plan your day mm -hmm. around, mm -hmm. you know, around the traffic. Mm -hmm. You really do. So yeah. believe mm -hmm. me, I feel you guys' it's pain. I really do. <laughs> I feel you guys' it's pain. So with the highlight of your trip, you mm. guys have purchased Land, land yes in royal kingdom of state they are proud <laughs> land owners for you guys who mm -hmm. don't know so where have you guys purchased your land at all the way in, um, sorry i'm terrible at pronouncing them okay so you got but you guys have land at the view right the view yeah okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right so that's yeah. kind of like around the like the in between uh, v hills yeah 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 mm -hmm. the local v hills area so what was like the first <laughs> thing that ran across your mind when you saw your land you need you want to take this one <laughs> should, <laughs> should i go should i go, go? <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll answer this one first of all i thought yeah it's not in Accra. Mm -hmm. It's exactly like the way where I want to be outside because mm -hmm. I'm a I'm a country person, but not mm -hmm. too far in the country. But I like to know that I can get into town when I'm ready. Right, right, got you. And I'm thinking this is far. Mm -hmm. And I got round there, and I'm we're in the taxi, and I'm going down, and I see where they were cutting the road nearby. Mm -hmm. When I got round to where my land was, and mm -hmm. I looked, and I looked down, and I looked back, and I thought. Don't say nothing. Keep him out of shut mm -hmm. until you find out all the details. It's just as well because some people would yeah. probably cry or start hey. right, kind of like getting yeah. yeah. But just keep that shut mm -hmm. and listen. And I looked at the lad, very nice. I looked down mm -hmm. at Aqua and I thought that is a breathtaking. That is really oh, nice. Yes. That's nice down there. However, she came into my thought and I thought, hold on a second here. Mm -hmm. My daughter's well, although she hasn't had any attacks, but mm -hmm. she's ill. Mm -hmm. and what if I'm here and I need to get to get help? Mm -hmm. How do I get out of here? <laughs> and, <laughs> mm, it wasn't until I looked at the 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 um, area, the manager, yeah. the site manager. 
And he said, no, 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 madam, no, madam, rest assured, rest assured. And he says, the road is cut. You see, they were cutting the road. Mm -hmm. They're cutting the road from down, coming up, and they're coming around that way, and there'd be another one. Yeah, oh, they're doing a lot of work. Okay. Here. Yeah, so listen, you're oh. safe. You're fine. <laughs> you're fine. Okay. <laughs> because that's one thing the Royal Kingdom of yeah. does. Mm -hmm. They strategically place lands mm -hmm. where there are, it's by amenities. Like mm -hmm. you're saying, you know, if you, or you're ill or you're having mm -hmm. something, there's hospitals nearby, mm -hmm. there's, you know, markets mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and even around like different tourist attractions mm -hmm, yeah. so you can feel mm -hmm. at home mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so it i can understand like yeah. at first you guys are kind of like oh you know but as you can see the mm -hmm. roads the road you is, know because there's yeah, a lot yeah. of access yeah. roads it's yeah. loaded yeah it really yeah. is it's loaded with access roads yeah. so with royal kingdom estates how you know why royal kingdom estates how were you led there how did i which one? What do you mean? Oh, the Royal Kingdom Estates, like buying your land. How did you find out about Royal Kingdom Estates? Through YouTube. Mm, and watch your Danny. Okay. I basically, I did see you. <laughs> um, basically, um, it wasn't actually the view I was actually going after. I was actually going after another area. But by the time I got to Danny, sold out. Within no time, in a space of like um, a week, all wow, gone. that happens. They, they, it's fast. Just went boom. Uh -huh. And then he says, oh, madam, he says, I've got the perfect one for you. And he sent me the photo. Mm -hmm. And um, I says, okay. But then I need, I says, you know what? I've heard too many horror stories. Mm -hmm. And I started to do a little bit of digging here, there and everywhere. Mm -hmm. I had friends in the UK who got people in Ghana. I says, listen, yeah. too much horror stories. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to be the one fall into that trap mm -hmm. at all. I don't really want to. I, no, I whatever I've got, yeah. I work hard, I saved up, put this by, and I need to make sure it's not for myself, it's for my daughter. I'm not going to be here forever, but whatever I put right. down yeah. is for her, you know. And I says, I can't afford to lose this. Mm -hmm. And she got onto it. Mm -hmm. I think she knew she knew somebody who was uh, um, land land in. Oh God, I can't remember. He, a land bridge, he worked in the, something to do with land bridge or something like that. Mm -hmm. And he, he came back and says, now nah, it's okay, but it, it is a bit far. He says, mm -hmm. that was, but I says, you know what, let me go and see for myself what, you know, I heard what he says. And I got found out that, yep, that is kosher. It's not. Yeah, it's like, it's, <laughs> it's the, well, yeah. You, because any, you know, it, there's too many horror stories because we do see them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on YouTube. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, even with my bank, I had even problem with them. I went in there to put down some money deposit and mm. they had me in there and mm -mm, they would not. And they, I said, look, I need to because I'm going to lose and I can't afford to lose this land, please. Right. And it took three bank manager to sign that money off. Wow, and it's three? my money. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. For me to send it over to him to hold. Wow. Three bank manager after questioning me, umpteen, have you been there? Have you seen it? Da, 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 have you? No, not yet, but somebody. But how do you know they're not working together? I did it. Seriously. Well, you see it all, everything checked out. Mm -hmm. You know, everything checked out perfectly. You know, Royal Kingdom Estates is a legit company. And really, you know, it's all about finding a comfortable fit mm -hmm. for people, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. that are coming from the diaspora, mm -hmm. you know, so I'm happy mm -hmm. that you guys <laughs> were able to sort everything out. Mm -hmm. You have some wonderful land, mm -hmm. you know, at the view mm -hmm. and you are happy real community safe customers. Yeah. I really yeah. am. I'm so happy that you guys were well, able to find you. the right fit for you. Thank and again, I appreciate you guys for coming mm -hmm. on the channel. It has been a wonderful pleasure. You guys are so cute. I think they're so cute. I really do. <laughs> Thank you. you guys are so adorable. I just bless the most high that mm -hmm. you were able to come here and you finally found Ghana mm -hmm. as your home. So thank you guys so much for coming thank on the channel. You, thank you. Thank and thank you guys so much for tuning in. And please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and please share this information with us. <laughs> Until next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>